Hi, I'm going to show you how to create group boards using whiteboard.chat where students can collaborate. So the first thing is for me as a teacher to upload content to create work. So I uploaded a PDF. This is the main page, right? And now it has multiple pages, page number one, page number two, right? The next thing that we need to do is uh, start inviting students, right? So in this case, the students need to be uh, invited using the invite link. So I click the invite button. I copy that th uh, in linked. So I'm going to use Firefox to create students. When the students join, they'll be asked for their name. So I'll have multiple students join for this purpose in different browser windows on Firefox. Right? The reason why I'm using Firefox is it allows me to create different views for you guys to see what students are seeing. So I added three students on three different windows. Now, if I go back to the instructor board, which is the board on the left, right? You can see, uh, click the avatar menu, then hit create groups and select the students you want to be part of a collaborative board and then give it a name, right? call it blue. And this will create the group board and the students will automatically be transferred over to the group board. You can see that they're all on the green board Right. They're all on the green board at this time. And then we'll, you can see each other's drawing, the mouse moving on each other's screen. Right. But even uh, even if one student wants to erase other students' drawings or the teacher's drawings, they cannot. And right? they can only erase their own. And right? they can never uh, delete other students' drawings. So that's super useful. <coughs> okay. So this is the after, so now if you delete the group, the students will go back to their individual boards. The other way to create, pre-create groups, this is new, is to again start a new, a new teaching session. So this is the case when the students haven't joined and you're preparing and you want to pre-create groups. So we go to the same menu by clicking the avatar menu and hit create group boards. But there are no students here. So what we do is assign IDs. So we use IDs for the students because we don't want to save students names. So just put numbers one, two, three, four, five separated by commas and then move them number one and number two into group one, right? And then do another group board where you again use IDs like one, two, three, four, hit the add IDs button, right? And then assign three and four to student number three and four to group two. Right? And now what will happen is that when the students join, they'll be automatically be asked for their ID along with their name when they join the board. Right? So this ID can be anything. So you just click this link. Now I'm going to show you what the student sees. So the student sees uh, two choices. Now there's their name, which can be student one and their ID. So number one. Right. And as soon as they enter the ID, which has been assigned to a group, they'll be taken directly to that group board. Right. And similarly, if I were to open another incognito window, right, for another student, I can just add their name as student number three, right, and their ID is three. Right. And there now they'll be taken to group number two. Right. So automatically, as soon as the students join, they're taken to the right group. Uh, because it has been pre-assigned by the teacher. And again, if you go to the grid view, you can actually see what the students are, uh, who are on that group board doing, right? So it's very easy for you to see. That's it. Please reach out to us if you have suggestions or problems. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.